For the first time ever, the AFL Grand Final will have a purple hue. Valentine over the shoulder. Miraculous goal. Goal of the night from Valentine. Under the stewardship of master tactician Ross Lyon, Fremantle have found their way through to the last Saturday in September. Fremantle will play Hawthorne in the Grand Final. Siren sounds. 25 points. The Dockers stifled the life out of the Swans in the second preliminary final, winning by 25 points, although the final margin flattered Sydney. Ricochet ball, Walters shrug, left foot snap goal. Michael Walters kicked a game-high three goals and also made a couple of additions to his personal highlight reel in the process. Walters! Oh, what a leap! That is ridiculous. Midfielders Nat Fife and David Mundy were also among the Dockers' best players in a match played before a deliriously happy capacity crowd at Patterson Stadium. Gathers, poise, slingshot, goal! The prize for Fremantle is a grand final date with a Hawthorne team still smarting from last year's upset loss in the season decider to Sydney. We're going over with an aim to play a very best football. We're going to ask some serious questions of the Hawthorne Football Club and they're going to ask some serious questions of us. The Hawks did it the hard way, coming back from 20 points down at the last change to snap an 11-game losing streak against Geelong in the first preliminary final. Burgoyne to put them in front. He doesn't miss. He's kicked three. Sean Burgoyne was one of many heroes for the Hawks either kicking or setting up all of their four goals in the final quarter. But Cats midfielder Travis Varco still had a golden opportunity to send the match into extra time, only to miss a relatively simple shot for goal in the final minute. It comes down towards Rioli, he'll mark and kick after the siren. I don't think the umpire has heard the siren, it's going. They've won. Hawthorne have won in a stunning game of football at the MCG. Hawthorne to the grand final. What a match. The Hawks are set to go into Saturday's title match against the Dockers as slight favourites. But they'll have to get the job done without luckless defender Brendan Whitecross, who will miss a second straight grand final due to a serious knee injury.